back. Welcome back to another video. Today I will set, tell y'all as I actually produced this slide all the way on a Windows XP computer. And I will now show the slide that I made, which here it is. How many people still use Windows XP as their main computer? Here's the version, Windows version you choose. Windows 95, 0.1 percent. Windows 98, 0.5 percent. And why is there another one that says Windows 98, 1999? Is because the first version of Windows 98 actually had some issues with the internet, major issues with the internet. So they decided to put out a new version of Windows 98, which actually, it was used one, it used six, one point, zero point six percent. And Windows 2000, zero point seven percent. And Windows Millennium Edition is zero because of reasons saying that actually Windows ME, for people that don't know, Windows Millennium Edition was actually supposed to be based off the NT like Windows 2000. But Microsoft hit MS-DOS in there instead of NT which made it very unstable and would crash a lot. Windows XP. And when they thought of Windows XP, they decided to try to make one of the best operating systems ever. So they tried to merge MS-DOS and NT together and made the most stable operating system ever made. It is Windows Vista. 0.9% because 0.9% why is it not like 1% or anything it's because it slowly would stop being used I've actually operated a Windows Vista machine before but I had to do some stuff I had to use it for spare parts then it died it wouldn't stay on, but anyways, Windows 7 is 4%. And Windows 8 is 2%. And I'm really not sure what went wrong here with Windows 8, but Windows 8.1 was a better version of Windows 8. And then Windows 10 was 32% because some people, as I forgot to mention, why Windows XP is still on here and still refuses to die. It's because those people had to use it for a certain reason. Like some offices do use, still have to use Windows XP or any old version of Windows. But Windows XP still stays strong as 5.3% of course uses it, as I said earlier, but they use it because certain kind of software, too much for this software, or they, this software isn't made anymore, and this is software they need, but they, but the still old software still works. They just pay Microsoft to give them all the security updates they need. And then Windows 10, they still, many people still use it. Even the school I go to still uses it. They haven't upgraded. Now, some of the computers that got the new computer for the computer lab like, had Windows 11, which is 89% of the population. But with that, I will say, hey, wait. We'll now talk about the new users. New users. 
when a new user installs or buys a new main computer, they are offered to take a tour of Windows XP. Sorry, Google. We didn't get it just right, right here, somewhere in here. We didn't get the editing. In Windows XP, in the Windows XP tour, it will show the basics of Windows XP and all of the features of the OS. So, let's say we have done like let's say you just got a fresh copy of Windows XP to put in your Windows ME or your Windows 2000. You log in everything like that and get set up. It'll offer you first hand without you having without having to go find it. It'll offer you it. And then tell you about what all it has. It also has different games and everything. But now to new internet users. In 1993, Dollar Internet was the first form of internet. In 2023, a survey estimates uh, that estimates over 250,000 people will still use Dollar Internet. In 1993, Bonzi software made a virus called Bonzi Bud. Also, Formerly known as the most, most, well, the most helpful virus or whatever like that, that, that caused $1.5 million in damages of computers. In computer damages, in 2003, Bonzi Software had been fined $75,000 for stealing children's and adults' identifications. American Online provides antivirus software to keep you, yourself, and your ID safe. Is Windows XP a good school computer? In 2023, a survey was took and no school has used Windows XP in 10 to 14 years. But some schools let students starting at, in the 9th or 10th grade, you bring your own laptop, no school has ever issued laptop running Windows XP in 13 to 20 years. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Crazy. But, I was crazy once. <laughs> does the does the United States Army still use Windows XP. The United States Army pays Microsoft to give Windows XP updates which are not accessible by any other person other than the computers at the Army office. Also, Russia and a couple of other countries use it still because Microsoft won't let them have versions over there. And that's the end.